A Naples priest is on administrative leave after allegations of child molestation surfaced 30 years after the alleged crime. It all allegedly unfolded more than 1,300 miles away in Dubuque, Iowa back in 1985. Father Leo Riley held services at St. Peter the Apostle Church in Naples until he was placed on leave back in December. Four in your corners, Carl Fortier looking into the allegations and getting reaction from one of his parishioners. Well, the Archdiocese of Dubuque in Iowa is investigating the claim against Father Leo Riley. He's accused of sexually abusing a minor when he was a pastor in Dubuque. It was just over a year and a half ago that St. Peter the Apostle in Naples welcomed Father Leo Riley as their new parochial vicar. Then came allegations he abused a child in 1985 while working in Iowa. That's all it is, an accusation. Frank Kelly is a parishioner at St. Peter who thinks well of Father Riley and wishes he was still on the job. Everybody's vulnerable for any little thing you did and any little thing you might have done in your past that was youth oriented or something. David Closey of the Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests, or SNAP, says even though the alleged abuse happened three decades ago, it should still be taken seriously. The sad, simple truth is the overwhelming majority of adults who were abused as kids can't report these crimes until decades later. He says the investigation shouldn't be confined to Iowa. Bishops in both Iowa and Florida should be using their vast resources to try to find anybody who was hurt by him and make sure that those people get help and make sure that those folks also contact law enforcement. Frank Kelly isn't buying it. He believes placing Father Riley on administrative leave is premature. Everybody's accusing everybody of something and trying to uh, manipulate public opinion and everything to ruin careers. It's punishment before the actual crime is uh, proven. So that's the way life goes today. David Cloacy says anyone who was the victim of abuse should contact police, not their church. He also wants them to know healing is possible. You can recover from this awful childhood trauma, but only if you find the courage and strength to break your silence and reach out to somebody who knows what you're going through. A statement from the Diocese of Venice, which oversees St. Peter the Apostle, says, Father Riley strenuously denies that the allegation is true and maintains that he is innocent. The Diocese of Venice notified the parishes where Father Riley served and received no accusations against him. Carl Fortier, Fox 4, in your corner. Thank you, Carl. This